Welcome back for another episode of the Radelaide Summit Podcast. Uh, this week's episode, we cover my actual bouldering experience. I'm a pro now. Uh, the damage we don't see after a bike crash, a huge weekend of racing coming up, Super Series news, and more. Come along for the ride. If you're new to the podcast and haven't listened before, each week we scour the Strava leaderboards watching you do your efforts up Norton Summit and discuss them here on the podcast whether you like it or not. There's a chance we might shame you, we promise not to name you personally, and the odds are high that we'll probably shame ourselves because we're just not as fast as you. Look, at the end of the day, our goal is to encourage and celebrate everyone going up Adelaide's best hill climb, Norton Summit, and reaching their own goals. So with that, let's introduce ourselves. We are your summiteers, Frankie. Hello. Wang. G'day. Cash Wire. Cha-cha. <laughs> Sir Wingardian Levy, you're a host. Oh. <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> and I am Alex. Welcome, guys, and welcome, listeners, to another episode. As always, we need to know what's ha- been happening on or around the summit this week. The Who's strummet? first cab off the ranks? Francesca. Well, guess what? Speaking of com. on or around the summit, I actually went on the summit. You got I did it. a 30-minute Norton. <laughs> well done. And it was at an average heart rate of 175. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> That's low for you, though. It is, it is low for me. I think I just have a rabbit heart. So uh, that was hard. But also, I, it was a really windy day. So Lord I think I was... was hard? Uh, I well, was. Are oh, you were hard? Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's awkward. No, uh, really windy. But like it felt okay going up. But I'm not sure what's happening I don't know if there's like a correlation between weight gain and the like changing your physiology on the bike because now, you know, after 20 kilometers um, of riding my bike, my back seizes up, like lower back, and then also my neck up here for those who cannot see me pointing and touching myself. (laughs) It's on my neck. Touch (laughs) myself. Um, And I just completely seized up going up the summer and then by the time I got home, got off my bike, I felt like I was 65 years old. So there's well, there's going to be tomorrow. some people that that will disagree with me right now, but I and there's someone that works at Rico Day that agrees with me. But when I put on weight or lose weight, I will adjust my saddle yep. to accommodate for this because things get bigger, which means you get higher. I can tell you things what's gotten get smaller, bigger. <laughs> you get lower. Yeah, you just to make up those differences. So your position is changing as your body changes. Yeah, I 100% agree with that. Just based on, uh, I agree with you it in so- theory. <laughs> what do you mean in theory? Uh, I don't think you're going to be gaining and losing that much. You it's are. Going to make I it come cool. from an ethnic style background where a dump truck butt is what happens. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like I just feel, I really feel quite different. And um, and remember, micro, like millimeters make a huge difference in the angles as you go up through the bike from your feet to your saddle. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So basically I just have to lose uh, 15 kilos again. <laughs> <laughs> I paid like 350 bucks for a, for a bike fit. So I just have to go back to whatever I was before. Anyway, no. Uh, besides that, um, I've been making some marketing videos for work, which have now been released uh, on YouTube. So if you want to see a really cringy... Uh, work video that I've made, <laughs> please do not search for controlkey.com.au. <laughs> um, and can, that's it. Can, can, can nah, you please comment that. on your attire? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, for, the, for the listeners, what are you listeners? wearing? I kind of look like a really, really <laughs> pink condom. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a paddle pop hat. <laughs> is it called an Udi? I was going to almost say like an awkward eche that's just woken up. <laughs> <laughs> so what is this thing dust? called? Yeah. <laughs> what? Who's that? Uh, Lim- <laughs> Limbiscuit. Who's that? Oh, boy. Band. Uh, no. <laughs> no. So I'm basically wearing a pink Udi. Everyone would know what an Udi is, quite oversized. And then I have Soundman's pink hat, which I found on the floor. And I just thought I would look so pretty if I put it on. <laughs> <laughs> but I do not look so I pretty. I you weren't driving either on the way here. I was. <laughs> <laughs> of course she was. <laughs> In my Toyota 86 with, <laughs> with the windows down. Oh, boy. I look like a big fuckwit. <laughs> Any well, other need, any well, other updates? What's going on with the real estate? Please uh, give us a real estate update. Well, I am emotionally invested into a house, which Again. I, I am. That's yes. okay. Which means but it's okay because this is how I remember this is how I negate what is important to me and what is not important to me. Wow, I just saw my reflection in the in the, <laughs> <laughs> in the computer. Oh shit! Anyway, right, uh, back to the real estate. Real estate. I have an auction this next Saturday. Okay. Um, I know what my limits are. I I'm going to take a new tactic. And I'm just going to see what happens. So I'm hoping next Sunday podcast, I'm hoping to have a, some very exciting news. If not, then I'm just... You should wear that to the auction. Are you kidding me? 
<laughs> Definitely be right. You scare every once you win. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you win. Um, but yeah, that's about it. That's all the updates I've got for me. So Wang. Mm, all right. Another standard wing. No, on the bike it was me. not a standard wing. <laughs> but let me get to it. No. Twenty hour. I got the twenty hours this week. So seven fifty k. Did supers yesterday, but I got dropped in Rundle Street. Good. So How do you get dropped? <laughs> a bunch of us got caught in the light, so oh. we didn't actually uh, catch the rest of the bunch to the top. Oh, sad. Today, I popped the bouldering cherry. You did. And it was actually fun, and I was all right at it. I was actually surprised these boys here. So yeah. What well, are the I different actually, levels that you could do? Well, they're one different to eight in one difficulty eight, yeah. levels okay. of climbing, yeah. Where yeah. did Wang here go? When One, two, three, uh, maybe a four. four yeah, maybe. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. actually pretty good for first time. Yeah. I remember the first time I did bouldering, hated it, um, but only could do, I think it was a second level. But it's also good just watching some of the other Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, we it. did see you watching. Oh, that was <laughs> <laughs> there, was a, there was a couple of sites that I was looking at for too long. But, um, oh, my God. It was, uh, so now for everyone, Alex has to put his rides on, uh, on public on Strava. That was part of the deal of me going bouldering. Yeah, I did say that. You so, did, so you're uh, because to. he failed at his first attempt to get me a Norton PB. Yeah, fair enough. Mm, that's right. That'll still come. Mm. Uh, and then footy, footy this morning did with, we win? Uh, with Nate took the win over our rivals, yes. Mobbury. Can't stand those ferals. <laughs> Isn't that Josh's? <laughs> no, Josh's Titrigully with. Oh, okay. With us, yeah, yeah. Mobbury can't stand them. Uh, and that's about it. Mm. Cute, interesting. Alex. Well, yeah. Um, as we all know, I had a couple of weeks off. Maybe a couple of weeks ago now, and I feel like shit on the bike. Still, yeah, but yeah, like you it's had, just not happening. I thought you had, I thought you had rest to feel. I did better. have rest, and now I feel shit. Well, that's shit. Maybe it's like adrenaline. Maybe you're getting. I think the body's to... maybe getting a what? <laughs> <laughs> you should call me fat. <laughs> no, I didn't look. I'm at adjusting me. my saddle. Uh, um, yeah, maybe it's just getting back into all of the things I do because I've maybe have one day off a week of stuff. But chopped yesterday into pretty shitty wins with Kashi. Um, <laughs> <And laughs> didn't see Kashi much after the first lap. <laughs> yep. And then um, did the plunge recovery again during the week. Suffered big time in the cold pool. Um, uh, did some efforts up Norton Thursday night and pretty much wanted to throw my bike off the cliff at one point. Why? Just had it hard enough. It was too hard. Oh, that's how I feel. <laughs> yeah. But seven efforts. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Not 30 minutes. <laughs> so, yeah, but no, hopefully it'll turn around shortly. Fair enough. Mm. Very good. Cashy. Ooh. What did I do? Went bouldering today. It was Went delightful. Bowling. I was there too, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, did, yeah, chop. Alex was like, I, th- I was going to do group two because I had a bit of time off as well. And I was like, you know, I'll just ease into it. There's like... 10 or 12 weeks till Super Series. Um, oh, shit. I don't, need be, <laughs> I don't need to be fit right now. So I'm yeah. like, you know, I'll just eat some. He's like, no, no, no. He gave me the look and I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. All right, do group one. And it actually felt all right. Wow. It was all right into the headwind. As soon as we rolled to the tailwind, it just got wild. You know, it was funny. He was like, a couple of blokes was like, get up the road. And you can see like, you know, old Johnny Longlegs, like literally just like, Heaving, doing the whole <laughs> Mac lights are like, oh, you, 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 you. and they're like, get up the road. I'm like, I don't think you can go any faster, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I <laughs> rolled you, over, but- at that time, I rolled over into the wind. I had no gears left. I was going as fast as I possibly could, and only just making it over the front of the bunch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ben, I was smacking it. <laughs> yeah. I would have thought off. that going great. into a headwind would be more crazy than going into a tailwind. No, see, this is where people get it wrong, right? Mm-hmm. If you're on chop. You should be sitting at the back. If you're torched, you should be sitting at the back of the pack in the headwind and back then save the your energy wind. for the tailie. What? We be- went up almost 20 k's an hour when we hit the tailwind. Holy shit. People, this is like, oh, I'll, 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 I'll chop during the, headwind. the headwind because it's kind of easier and it is. Yeah. But then, yeah, they get a bit of courage and they're like, oh, this would be great. And then you turn around and go up 20 k's almost. Wow. And they're like... <gasps> <laughs> oh my god So it's good Apart from that um, Did a little bit of dancing That's so do, cute do, 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 um, do, do, do. Gym G Swimming It's great It's bloody great So yeah good weekend Love it Guess what What I forgot to put our special guest In the intro But he's here What have you been doing For the last week Well thanks for having me guys <laughs> I'm very excited to be on um, not a lot this week, unfortunately. I um, will get into it, I think, a little bit later, but a bit of time off the bike uh, again um, for the second year in a row. Um, but this week, just hitting the gym, 
a lot of walking on the treadmill. Delightful. Um, have, you seen, rehab. have you seen the Wang at the gym? Because he's been going. Really? Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't actually see him. Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> it's a different gym, surely. Um, Wang's, Wang's in the right of where he's got his leg. <laughs> A little cop top on. <laughs> Goes to the female only class. Of course. He would actually. <laughs> There's a reason for that. You're an actual predator. <laughs> um, so yeah, bit of gym, bit of rehab, um, and then uh, just a lot of work, uh, unfortunately. What do you do for work? I work, I'm a store manager at Denim and Cloth. Uh, so that is a um, local based um, business only. So it's a fashion um, boutique, men's and ladies. Oh, that's oh. right. Yes. I remember there was a lady was, that was like yes. laz- lasering somewhere <laughs> on me. <laughs> she used to, yeah, be one of my star members. She was horrified now I've left. <laughs> and she, we made a connection to you anyway, yes, sorry. We did. Uh, um, whilst so you, like getting your butthole hair. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. She's back. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Ah, oh, yes, Mr. Anos. I mean, yes. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm a store manager there. I um, look after Nord, um, Denim McCloth, Cloth, uh, but as well as that, I also do um, or I run the, the men's buying aspect to it. So, I'm the one that brings in the men's buying clothes. And then facilitates that around the company, uh, making sure this, uh, the product's actually selling, um, reporting, doing that sort of stuff. So I do a, a lot, not a just a so procurement. Much, uh, yeah. Yes. So mm. procurement, Fulfilling requirements, you'd say. Yeah. So Fulfilling trying requirements. Trying to make Wang look like, um, <laughs> where's Wally? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever bought it at, at said? Said cloth? Yeah. No. <laughs> Never heard of him. No. <laughs> oh, we Maybe we can shout introduce out Frankie into some denim and cloth fashion. Yeah. Uh, I, need, I need clothes. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> yes, definitely you definitely do. you after. Yeah. All right. um, so, yeah, that's pretty much me in a nutshell at the moment. So, um, just not much cycling. I love to be going up the summit, but um, in due time, I'll, uh, I'll get back up there soon. Amazing. Love to hear it. Amazing. Look, now, as everybody knows, mistakes can easily be made, and it goes without saying that we all can can and do make them from time to time. However, and unfortunately, it seems the level of patience and concentration of some drivers recently has plummeted and therefore resulted in some nasty crashes and dangerous close calls that really could have been avoided if an c- extra couple of seconds were taken. Now, fortunately, and that's because you are here and alive, here to tell the tale, but unfortunately, because you've been subjected to these occurrence more than once we today have sir win guardian levy you're a host <laughs> here to discuss what and how it happened but more so the longer lasting effects incidents like these have so there's obviously been more than one crash if yes, the listeners haven't is. picked up unfortunately can you give us a bit of a rundown no pun intended on what happened oh my <laughs> god <laughs> 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 That's worse than that one that's coming up that, that Wang's going to do. I'm going to repeat that you, one. You've had two crashes, am I right? I've had two. One very bad. Yeah. One where I'm lucky to be standing. I'm lucky to be alive. All right. Um, do you want to run us through that one first? Because yeah, that, that was, was last year, right? Yeah. 2022, yeah. almost um, year to date. So June the 11th, which was June long weekend last year. Yeah. Um, I was commuting into work. Uh, for those northeastern suburb crew, um, it was along Law Northeast Road. Yeah. Durning Court, mm-hmm. so just up the top. It's a uh, fast Reed. spot too, isn't it? It is. Yes. It's Reed, Reed, uh, Reed Road, Reed Street. Coming along the top, I was coming down towards City Way to head to work. Um, where it is, is a stop sign. So I was riding towards work and the guy didn't stop at the stop sign. He's gone straight up and over and I have supermaned it over the bonnet of the car. Oh, Going... Shit. Probably doing 50 there. I reckon 40 to 50k yeah, an hour. I have quick. never looked at my Strava from that ride ever. You refused I've, to? Did I you upload it? To. Yeah. I did upload it. That's important. You could go find it. But I never did. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know Alex doesn't do it. But uh, <laughs> I told they're there. They're just on private. <laughs> Not um, anymore. So, yeah, I have hit the, the van. It was actually a white van. Um, I don't remember a thing. Really? There's about 50 minutes, 45 minutes of my life I don't remember a th- single thing. So you, do you remember being hit? No, nah, not so a thing. when so was the last recollection? There's a road called the Woonga Road. There's a set of lights. I remember from that set of lights, which is about 600 metres yeah. to wow. where the crash was. I don't remember a thing from that to them waking up in hospital having a CD scan. 
Holy That's it. shit. I don't, if I try and think about it right now, I can't. There is just no recollection. Yeah. All, everything that I've, I remember has been told to me. Yeah. So um, from my brother being there, from my family telling me, from the ambulance, from the police. Um, wow. Yeah, it's all been told. So your brain obviously was like, it's, this is very traumatic, so yeah. we're just going to control or delete this. So, uh, yeah, it's now. a lot of PTSD, um, yeah. which I've been diagnosed with and taking a lot of medication for still to yeah. this day. Um, and... What I've now recently found out is that, yeah, it's my brain stopping me from ever um, having that experience and trying to think about it. Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, in short of that, I've had a lot of injuries from that first crash. Yeah. Um, broke my back, broke my wrist. Yeah. Uh, I had a lot of uh, heart and lung issues. I had a lot of air around my heart, which is clearly not good. Yeah. No. Um, there were small pockets. Pneumothorax, was it? That's it, pneumothorax. What the um, fuck? Dr. Cash. He knows it. <laughs> so I had that. Um, there were small pockets, so they weren't actually as bad um, as first thought. So that cleared up over the 24, 48 hours I was in the hospital. Um, Sorry, what's bad about having air around your heart, just for those who do not understand anything to do with... Mate, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> 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 um, I think it's just clearly... Air's meant to be going through your lungs, not around your actual yeah, heart. That's fair. So, um, yeah. Yeah. From what I know, I'm not a doctor either. Yeah. Um, the worst part was clearly because I supermaned it, I had facial injuries. So, yeah. broken my nose. Yeah. Broken my teeth. Yeah. Um, I've... I was wearing clear lens glasses, so my last glasses went through my eye kind of thing. <gasps> so I've cut all my eye through here. You can't actually see it, but it's all been stitched up. Yeah. They've done a good job of that. Um, the gruesome bit is if you were to hold your lip and pull your lip away from your gum, that is what happened to my lips, both top and bottom. So my lip was down here dangling somewhere. <laughs> down oh near my, my chin for those people that can't see that. I, I do low-key love this. <laughs> it's fucking horrific and I'm sorry. But yeah. I like so I've had plastic surgery on the inside of my mouth to stitch that back up, oh um, my back God. together. Now you guys, if you were to lick the inside of your... Sorry? The inside of your mouth? <laughs> um, We're all doing it nice and, Yeah, it's all probably nice and smooth. Mine is not. Mine's yeah. all stitches and it's all bumpy and all wavy um, because I've had a lot of plastic surgery in there. And that mm -hmm. was just from your first crash? That's from the first crash. And then my lips split apart as well. So not only did my lips come down and up, my lips on the middle split apart from each other. So then I had, you can kind of see the top bit there. It's all sort of stitched back together. And that's from one malaka not stopping at yeah. a stop sign. Taking and that couple taking of seconds. That couple yeah. of seconds. Just to now, just on the driver, male, female? Male, 20-year-old 20, okay. 20 male. I was going to say age demographic, so yeah. young. Young. He was heading to work as well. Right. What time yeah. of the morning was this? 6.30 in the morning. Wow. wow. Yeah. So, so yeah. it was dark. I had two sets of lights on. Yep. One flashes, one is bright as hell. Um, I was wearing bright colour kit. I was wearing map kit. Um, it was very bright. Yeah. Uh, cop said I was doing all the right things, had everything going. Uh, my helmet was split in half. Jesus. Down the middle. Yep. So when I hit it, I've obviously, I've got a cast per tone and yeah, that's split in half. So shows you the impact I did have mm. and shows you how lucky I am to be talking to you tonight. And obviously the bike was a write-off. bike was split in three. Um, oh, can hell. I can try and quickly get up a photo on my phone maybe. We'll, we'll put after. some of these photos on the If you um, don't mind, we later. might put some on yeah, the page. Yeah, it, it shows yeah. you it's pretty crazy. Um, the wheel was halfway down the street. The frame was snapped in three. Um, yeah. And, and how was the driver? Um, look, again, Do I know? don't know. Yeah. I don't know him. I don't know who he was. Uh, I know his name, but uh, that's about it. What's his um, address? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't have that, but no. Is he a local so, in the area? Yeah, I know what Wang, I know what you like. Um, <laughs> so what was it like dealing with the, like, the aftermath in terms of you know insurance, uh, police, like how many hoops did you have to oh jump man, through? It was, it was insane. CTP. Yeah, absolutely yeah. insane. So where did you st like? Where do you start? Like, if I was to have a crash, I actually genuinely would would not know what do I do now. So different. So there's the health insurance, and then there's my bike insurance. Bike insurance was okay. It was still been a hurdle to get through, even though the bike was snapped in three. Yeah. Bike Jesus. insurance came under my personal insurance. Um, pretty much make a claim, take the photos, show them evidence. Um, where I bought the bike, how much is worth, everything like that. Mm. Especially with all my clothing as well, helmets, garments, everything was snapped and broken. Send all the information through. Um, I think that took four weeks for that Jesus. door to come through. So even if I wanted to ride, even if it was okay to ride, 
you're still without a bike for some period of time. Yeah. Um, I don't know if anyone else has had an experience with bike issues, but yeah, yeah like for me, four weeks is a long time. Yeah, Mine it is a long was time. Much, I was lucky that I uh, could buy another bike straight away yeah, almost right. and then wait for the time. Yeah, yeah, it right. took a long time. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I don't have that luxury. Mm. Mine was a 20 grand bike. Mm. Oh, so no, um, no. that was a Trek project one um, that I saved up for, for my 30th and, uh, there she goes. So, so emotional so, attachment to it as Emotional well. attachment, very much so. Something I worked very hard for. Um, and then the health insurance, because he hit me, he was liable. So I'm dealing with his insurance. Yeah. I sourced a lawyer. Yeah. So I've actually got a lawyer now involved. Um, for them to me, I speak to my lawyer. The lawyer then speaks to the insurance and they fight for me to yep. get everything that I needed. Yeah. Um, they got me a year's gym, gym membership. So that's how I'm going to the gym is yep. they had to get me for my rehab to get all that. Yep. Um, I've been seeing a psychologist. Yep. Um, I was doing it every second week because of how bad my injuries were. And yep. must admit, I probably kind of didn't want to be alive at one point. Yep. Um, just <laughs> mentally was so hard. Mm. Um, sorry if I get emotional through this. No, well. no, it's not good, man. No. No. Um, and then, uh, yeah, dealing with all that, it just, I could at least deal with the lawyer, tell them how I feel, everything I'm going through, and yeah. uh, they deal with the insurance, um, physios, yeah, psychologists, everything like that. And so. how much were you out of pocket? Uh, so far, about 15 grand because oh I lost, God. I didn't work. I didn't work for five months. Yeah. So I couldn't work for five months. So work weren't going to cl- uh, clear me to come back to work until I was okay. I was not okay to work. And then when I started back to work, I started 15 hours. The next week I did 18 hours. The week after that I did 20 hours. So I was slowly, slowly building, building back up. up. Yep. Um, but I lost all my – lost all that income. I lost all my ins- um, annual leave, so I can't take a holiday because yep. I was getting paid my annual leave, um, yep. all my sick pay. So, yeah, I – I lost a lot, yeah. unfortunately. So, I, again, that's what goes through your head. That's interesting because my second accident, I was also commuting home from work. This was in Queensland. Um, I actually had a work cover claim um, suitable for that mm. accident. So, that doesn't exist here in South Australia. Yeah, you didn't have a claim. I, I'm, there's no, a question. Like, no. you I think it's on the, yeah, wow, I was on the way home. I was going to ask the same yeah. question. I think yeah. it's actually on the way home. Like, my guys, for example, if they crash the van on the way home, it's – and they have gone directly home, then I am, it becomes under my yeah, insurance. Right. Yeah. 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 There you go. Um, yeah. It's very interesting. There'd be a, lots of T's yeah, and C's yeah, around yeah, it. Sure. But yeah. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. So no, I uh, didn't know that. So no, I haven't claimed on that. <laughs> mm. Okay. Well, um, on that note, so obviously you've, you've had a before the crash, the crash, and then after the crash. So mm. you're obviously an av- so avid cyclist. between crashes. Yeah. Mm. You love the sport, mm. right? So can you tell us what was your mindset like? Um, you know, before this really significant um, incident happened for you? Um, I was actually really good space. So that was obviously the COVID years. So 2021, I was doing a lot of Ks. I was riding a lot. Um, I invested a lot of time into my cycling. Were you like, um, were you still risk averse? Uh, were you, or were you still, were you very like cautious at this point yeah, still? I was still you cautious because yeah. you are on the road, like as everyone is, you're, you're riding around like you're, you know, I'm not invincible. I know yeah. I'm not, I'm not invincible, but um, clearly I, I just wasn't aware of it as much as I am now. But um, yeah, I definitely didn't go ramming down hills and stuff like that. Mm. Um, I was very cautious of what I was doing. Um, but yeah, uh, my mindset was, I just love riding my bike and yeah. that's all I was. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what about now after you've had the crash? Has uh, that been I don't affected? love riding my bike as much. Um, it's been a real challenging, it was a real challenging time after the first one. It took me a lot to, to get back to where I wanted to be. Um, I had a lot more gratitude about my life and um, yeah, just wanting to love cycling for what I, I, I wanted to do it for and that was it. And um, whether it was one hour bike ride or whether it was a four hour bike ride on a Sunday, I just wanted to ride my bike and that was it. So I just wanted to be happy to do that. And this sort of kind of goes back to what we were talking about the other day about how the thrill and enjoyment we get out of being on our bike mm. and to have that taken away n- when it's not your fault, mm, like correct. someone else's pure stupidity, that's even more and more painful. Mm. It's like, I miss the things I love mm. for that retard. Mm. Yeah. yeah. We, we actually riding yesterday home, me mm. and, uh, sorry, CP and I, we were on uh, Paynham Road here and some young female literally like we were just two abreast but we we're actually pretty tight and just swerved over and i we anticipated it but mm. like if that was just some like johnny Longlegs that mm. just rides once a week they would have yeah, wasn't up. watching mm. like bang 
done. Mm. And it's really sad because I think a lot of people who ride bikes have some kind of, um, you know, experience with either near misses or actually uh, being in an accident. Time. All, all the, the time. time. It might be really, really serious. It might not end up being really serious. Um, mm. But it's just a shame that there's such a uh, prevalent culture between cyclist and the driver. Um, there's a great like, divide, I feel, between motorists and cyclists. Huge. I don't know what it is, but yeah, it's... <clears throat> it, me. It's not getting any better. It's no. getting worse, if anything. No, no. Correct. And I think it's because uh, everyone's becoming more and more time poor and that lack of concentration or patience for someone to get to work because they've got up late and then all of a sudden it's mm. your fault for being mm. in their way. No, there's a stop sign there, dude. Yeah, yeah. You've got to stop. Mm. I was, like, <laughs> was going to say, it is, it is the society, right? Everyone is so fucking yeah. entitled yeah. Yeah. and they... Th- like they got everyone's got chips on their yeah, shoulders, like, yep. or they're too busy fucking around yeah. with their phones. Like, I still wish to this day, I, I don't know, but I hope they weren't on their phones. Both crashes weren't on their phones. I hope, I don't know, but yeah. But yeah, if I, you just pay rego, you would have been yeah. all okay. <laughs> I <laughs> know exactly. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. If you just pay rego, cars are never going to hit you again. No. So, <laughs> you know, I would, I'm happy to pay a fee for that. <laughs> can you um just run us through then what happened after your second crash? Because obviously, you know, you had your first crash. You've yep. been going through a lot of therapy to get better about you know being mm. on the road and feeling safe again. And then all of a sudden, literally a year later, you get yeah. hit again. Yeah, almost a year to date. So almost um, to the day, wasn't it? Yeah, just yeah. about just about the week week before I uh, was now the community meeting home um, down at Glenelg and I was going through a roundabout um, lady driver this time sorry was didn't give way to a right I was just about through the roundabout and so I've now she's hit me square on I've jumped onto the bonnet to try and anticipate it because I was going a little bit slower so I've hurt my hip a fair bit my fractured hip now um, she's Jeez. driven over the bike um, not really bad injuries but yeah it's just Laying on the ground, firstly, I felt for my teeth to go, are my teeth okay? Because mm. obviously, I'm going to get them fixed soon. But I was just sitting on the ground going, why me? Why mm. again? Mm. Like, the sport I love so much is just hurting me. Like, it's what just, time was this crash? This like? was six o'clock at night now. So, okay. So, so lights is obviously again. Yeah, lights are uh, Pier Street and Partridge. So, near Partridge House, near yep. the Hold, Force, Hold Fast Bay, yeah. I think, hotel. Yeah. Holdy Hotel. So, look, I had to drive past it the other day. No way did she get obstruct. No way was I in the wrong. She just didn't look, did not stop. And she just went straight through me. She didn't even stop. Like She didn't stop. She didn't stop. stop so it was a hit and run. Oh, no, it wasn't a hit and run. But oh. like as in she There was me. no intention yeah. that like no she intention had to seen. Stop or was just like, yeah. yeah. So and what was, how was she when she... Oh, she was completely rattled. She right. called the ambulance, did the place, did all the right things. Yeah. Uh, there was a lot of um, witnesses because it was, you know, six o'clock at night just yeah. before the AFL was starting as well. So a lot of witnesses around. A lot of people come to my aid and help me, which is yeah. nice. This time I was able to walk, able to move. Um, no real broken bones or anything like that. But yeah, just another, another broken one. bike. Just another broken bike. She drove over the bike pretty much. Yeah, so your, your love for the sport's obviously really been tested, hey? It's, yeah, it's really pushing me. Um, and not just me, uh, my family too. Mm. Um, my mum and dad just are like, this is it. Like, they were, more, they were clearly sympathetic. They were clearly glad I'm okay and I'm alive. But they're like, this has to be it. Like, what are you doing? You can't keep doing this. Because um, that's a very important uh, thing to discuss as well. Like, it's not even j- just about you in mm. this sport. It's like, how does it affect your loved ones around you? Like, are they going to be feeling worried yeah. every, time every time you go out for the ride? The door, yeah. But yeah. then, you know, like, you, you can't wrap yourself in cotton wool and not do the things that you love for the sake of worrying about if you're going to hurt because you have to, you know, I don't know. What's, what's the best way to put this? In, in your defense, though, like... You know, parentals would be like, I'd be the same, right? But you just keep fucking commuting to work. Yeah. You're not even out on a, like no, no. a bloody five hour ride at Buddy yeah. Birdswood and like yeah. whatever. Like, no, no. that's the shittest thing. Yeah, correct. You're just going 100%. to work. Correct. Like every other buddy. I'm saving on petrol. I'm trying to do the right thing by not putting car- more cars on the road. And yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Fortunately, yeah, my, yeah. Parents are just a bit over it. Um, they clearly want me to do something I love, but. They clearly don't want me to die either. So um, I don't like knitting, mum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crochet doesn't really. <laughs> it's a croquet bush. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you thought about bouldering? 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chess more. Yeah. I guess the one positive thing that's come out of it is your you found gravel in the meantime. I with have. Your so I do have a gravel bike now, um, and that was from the second uh, incident. Uh, sorry, the first incident. First one. Yeah. Um, I got a sh- Chavello. 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 I got a Chavello. Chavello Sparrow. And uh, I do love that. That's been a blessing disguise for me, um, getting on the gravel roads away from... Traffic. Dickheads. Yep. Um, has really helped me and has brought back a lot of love. Um, found new love as well for it. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoy that. There's nothing like quite riding on the road. Um, mm. I love that and I always want to ride on the road. But to how much I do it now, I don't know. Like I'm still... Two weeks on from this second crash, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't. I really don't. Um, what, do you, what do you think needs to happen then for you to feel... Oh, that is a million dollar soon. question. Um, I think if... Do you think if we have more cyclists on the road that more people will be aware, more drivers will be aware that there's people around? Or now, if you think back to like, Frank, you, I think you're the youngest here. <laughs> uh, driver's license. Yes. Did they say anything about cyclists mm. or motorcyclists when you're doing your test no not a single thing no um there's no appreciation there pedestrians. for mm. yeah, pedestrians yes. yes no appreciation pedestrians are doing 5k's an hour if that mm. yep. cyclists are doing 45 50 k's mm. an hour there needs to be an appreciation for that thing on the road mm. um and that's where it needs to start education yeah. 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 Yeah, i've yeah. said the same you know how you do yeah. your, you're doing your um, learners permit yep you're doing your logbook test or whatever yep. there has to be a section in driving safety with cyclists yeah. mm-hmm. whether you have give a group of 50 cyclists go hey, okay come to this um you know shopping center or whatever we're going to drive around uh with l players they're going to show you how to mm. maneuver with cyclists being next to you being yep. close by yep. I don't know. I'm spitballing. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> like, man, I'm just so sick of getting here. I, I agree, right? If I think about it, like just purely like business, right? When I'm at work and we talk about like implementing change, the biggest thing is training and mm. education. Mm. Why the fuck wouldn't you just do it? Like you yeah. can see there's clearly a problem, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then also uh, infrastructure. Yeah, do I we have the best mm. infrastructure? You go overseas Again, and Again, it comes terrible. back to when you're doing your driving lesson in the little picture that says who's giving mm. right of way, there's not a bike lane shown on the picture that old mate Johnny Longlegs is rolling down in and you decide to go left on. Mm, Johnny Longlegs has <laughs> got a few shout outs. I <laughs> love Johnny Longlegs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that, yes, it, it needs to be incorporated a little bit more. Will it ever happen? Probably not. Because mm. it's just so interesting. Like We have such a push towards um, moving away from carbon yeah. footprints, yeah, decreasing exactly. our yeah, you know, greenhouse gases, like being more environmentally friendly. I do feel like bikes encapsulates mm. a lot of that. And so I just, it's very interesting, like why there is such a big divide still when I feel like that's like a one part, like transport is such a huge contributor to the world's um, CO2 emissions. Mm. Um, in the world. Apart from Wang in the morning. When it's <laughs> <laughs> I'm even finding the motorcyclists are against us now. Oh, yeah. yeah. I feel like, like it's always been like that. Nah, though. not so. I think motorcyclists get are getting grumpy. worse, mm. yeah. especially up through – like I'd have, I've had some run-ins the last few weeks with motorcyclists through Gorge Road, like for no reason. Yeah. Like, yeah, everyone's just – yeah, I don't know what the answer is. Yeah. Well, um, on that note, thank you. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing your experience. No, thank you. I, we do want to put this out there. Uh, I'm now going to speak on behalf of everyone. You can sh- tell me to shut up if you want. Shut, shut up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we don't want people to be scared to ride their bike. This is not the purpose of this episode. Um, I think it's important to highlight that there are some dangers on the road but we don't want to stop people from going on their bikes and being more scared about getting hit um you know you you can be as aware as you you can Mm, but unfortunately we cannot control the actions of other people only ourselves um and it's very unfortunate to hear that you've been so negatively affected by the sport that you love and i do hope that with time um and i don't know some magical juice yeah, or, or something uh, that <laughs> y- you know you can feel safe again in the in the place that you love yeah no um, thank you guys and thanks for everyone's support as well um especially after the first one a lot of people did reach out that i didn't think would you know reach out it's actually really quite nice and quite humbling um and even still uh, are reaching out and just asking how i am um yeah, yeah the community is good for that they're yeah. close-knit 
and um, I think I've noticed that even in the last yeah. sort of six to nine months, even it's been wild. Where's Wally over here can be a bit of a softy every now and then. Where's, where's Wang? <laughs> where's Wang? <laughs> He's purple Wang now. <laughs> there was one question we did forget to ask. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, Zinger Burger. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Well, 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 well. I was wondering if you're going to ask me because... <laughs> well, we were going to get Oh, you like the question, uh, you? <laughs> I, I actually haven't had fast food. So, yeah, fast food, Macca's, anything like that since I was 21. How old are you now? Uh, how old are you now? The first are Zinger I had. 35. Yeah. I was going to say, you look beautiful. I, I literally <laughs> had <laughs> Hungry Jacks this afternoon. It was delicious. I, I, had, I had the same. He also. bought us a Zinger Burger a few weeks ago. That was the first time I reckon in 15 yeah, years I, I have. I had... I just... Since I was 21, I just stopped eating yeah. fast food. Was so, it just like an active choice? or was Yeah, just like well, I wanted to get fit, healthy, so I go in the gym, running, exercising, and that's when I just don't need to put that uh, in my body. Hello, I, was, I eat KFC like three I times know, a week. I'm that's fit. why I, I need to get a sub <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to stay in the disease. So, Maybe um, that's the secret. Yeah. Um, I would really impressive. like someone to just take a sample of your blood and do some tests. Well, yeah. the dietitian when she's on <laughs> next week. Mm. Well, okay. I'm trying to go for a 12.30, so I still Oof. need to get that goal. What's this? What's PB? Uh, twelve fifty two. Twelve fifty two. So I'm still moving. I'm moving. I'm still I'm there. But it's gonna take me a while to one get a bike pack and then two let's go to twelve thirty. So mm. just on the bike, still. what do you go? What bike was the second one? Uh it was an R five. Chevello R five. Yep. Chevello. Um and gonna replace it with an R five? Uh, I do. I've I know the bike shop has already ordered me one okay. in uh, anticipation of it being insured. Yep. So I'm hoping I will have a bike soon. Um, like I said, I love this sport. And like Frankie said, I don't want to, to, to deter anyone from riding just because of my injuries. Shouldn't stop anyone else from riding. Um, I will ride again, but to what capability, I don't know yet um, and how much. Um, whether I just stop riding in the winter when it's dark and cold and won't commute, ride in the summer, bridal art, nicer weather. Um, so yeah, I will. I'll be back. Good to hear. I'll be back. No, I'll be back. No, it's good. Um, I think yeah, the, the drivers just have a better appreciation of the cyclists and mm. a little bit more patience would do it, go a whole lot way. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it's good. I'm glad you're okay. No, thanks, Alex. Mr. Wang. Notable mentions for uh, this week on the on the summit. Uh, Big Banana podcast favourite. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe she won the national duathlon championships on the weekend in Canberra. So uh, very good effort. I know that she is wanting to go to the, um, the worlds. For sure uh, she duathlon. She now has, well, you would think if she won the Aussie, she'd qualify. I mm-hmm. saw so her run. She did like a three minute thirteen. Pace oh, yeah. run for She's like five thousand kilometers. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. Machine. Um, and on a uh, sad note, um, during the week, uh, Bahrain, down. Bahrain professional rider Gino Mader unfortunately um, passed away from a crash he had in a race to did a I, Swiss. Did I read cor- like correctly? He was descending, yeah. and then it was around a corner, and then he fell into a, a ravine. What's a ravine? Like a- a cliff, like a cliff into the bottom of a river. A river, and then they found in him in the water. They found him in the water, unresponsive. They resuscitated him. He was airlifted to hospital, but unfortunately passed away in hospital. Um, so a couple of Aussies are teammates of his. So shout out to those boys, Cam Scott and uh, Jack Haig, who are both teammates of his, and Housler. Yep. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, it highlights the. Dangers of our of our sport, but um, yeah, you never want to see someone die during doing what they love. The, the guy who won that stage, like when he was descending, he was hitting a hundred down the. Yeah. Oh wow! So they were going fast. Hundred <laughs> k an hour in Lycra. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't want a car to pull out. No. 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 Do you know what should pull out? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Alex's face. <laughs> thanks, 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 Terry Towers. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, did you want to mention something about the junior? Oh, something else happened that I that Soundman has told me. In the Giro, the under 23s, t- uh, 24 people got disqualified for following a car. No, yeah, they were just waiting for a mate. The yeah, they were just <laughs> waiting for a mate. No, no, no. How can they hold onto the car where they're... Oh, they actually grabbed it. Yeah. So they're not allowed to do the that. sticky bit on, mate. Yeah. Man, but they got this. During the tour down under, I was sitting on one of the corners of the corkscrew, and the womb broom came zooming past me, <laughs> hanging onto one of the cars. Really? Yeah. yeah. 
So why are you not allowed to do that? Because you're not using yourself <laughs> to go the mountain. <laughs> why are you not allowed to do that? But tw- it's 24 of them. So it wasn't like the human centipede, but all cyclists. <laughs> and they're all just hanging on to different parts of the car. Oh, my. So and hang on, hang on. One car, 24 yes. cyclists yeah. on the one. It would have been not at all the same time. There's 24 people trying to hang on to a car, no. At there different was, points the in the race. photos I've seen, there's probably about eight or nine yeah, yeah, holding on to another one. about eight or nine. Yeah. I've, I've got the weirdest visual. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man they, they, It's not a gangbang <laughs> <laughs> These guys are at the back of the race They're in the group head over there Half an hour behind the leaders I don't see an issue with it Anyway <laughs> I see an issue with it Pedal yourself Why do you see an issue with it? Because <laughs> But they're yeah. going to lose anyway That's right yeah, Anywho Let's jump right into it. The main reason why we exist. Let's see who's been spinning up the summit this week and check out the times for the folks that have been giving us a show. It might be the fast guys. It might be the slow ones. It may be everyone in between. But like we said, we will dive into their rides and data if you've given it to us a little more robustly and we'll see who and what has caught Frankie's eyes for a handpick this week. I didn't pick a handpick. Why not? Because I was in such... Why do you think I'm wearing a plastic bag? <laughs> because I was in such a rush. I didn't even get changed. You know what's underneath this? No, no, I don't want to know. know. <laughs> I don't want to know. But sound man said all you did was sleep today. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> I don't believe a word you said. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Wingardium, you're, you're a host. Actually, before we digress, what do you think of your name? I actually do like it. I know why you've done it. Um, I can't wear glasses anymore because it's broken my nose the crash so my i'm looking at potentially getting some um contacts in but um because my nose is broken it hurts my nose to wear my glasses so yeah. um you, you can, can wear change a monocle. it when you get your 12 yeah well, that's anyway, it i'm so gonna get 12 30 yeah. so then i'll change what it. will you change it to uh cookie connoisseur wow so we've got cookies. chicken burger connoisseur and cookie What's connoisseur I like come on it. let's elaborate on this cookie stuff yeah. let's go uh, i just have a lot so <laughs> A bit like the Wangs and KFC. Yeah. I love cookies. So what's about the difference Subway between cookies eating fast or food? What kind of cookies? Cookies. <sighs> yeah, that's probably a good one. <laughs> so, so <laughs> they're, they're the special look, cookies. cookies. What? Oh. <laughs> no, yeah. Are you part Dutch? <laughs> um, I get them sent up from Amsterdam. Oh, yeah, yeah, good, good. Uh, Weed cookies. Oh. Man. <laughs> Hashish. <laughs> No, where's, where's your go to place? Like, what's your, what's your fave? I actually just like the food land, but otherwise, Subway. Yes. No, it's good. Big, soft. Sales pitch. The the Woolies um, fucking Bicky. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, oh, fuck, what are they? Ultimate cookies? Yeah, whatever they are. 40% yeah. chocolate chip? Yeah. Fucking, they're delicious, eh? Some, they're a bit much. You know, you when put them in, in the microwave for 20 seconds and then you bite into it and I literally... like. I've never done that. Okay, do How that. How long do you put it in the microwave? 20 seconds. 20 Wouldn't seconds. It, like, but I, I put like five. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on Wang, you must be doing right, wrong if it's 20 seconds, mate. That's that's longer than I can last. <laughs> oh, my God. Can we can we get to some what, good times, what please? What flavour yes. cookies? <laughs> Back to that. <laughs> this escalated quickly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who was what the fastest What are your favourite Subway cookies? Double uh, choc, choc chip. Double no, choc, 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 choc chip. Choc chip. And then the macadamia. Oh, yeah. Uh, get out. then double <laughs> choc. That's a Cervelo frame set, the <laughs> macadamia. <laughs> Anywho. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fastest man. Let's go. Fastest man was oh. uh, the real Shamoy. Oh, I was hoping to Podcast favourite. Mm. He's still so waiting for his panties, Frankie. He's not a podcast Frankie. favourite. He's been like MIA. <laughs> so Are you wearing it on this day, he did a 12.44 on a 101k bike ride, averaging 3.95 watts. Yeah. So can't still, even get him at still five to go, <laughs> you <little> boy. <laughs> Good work, Dad. <laughs> that was on uh, super. With a 168 yesterday. beats per minute. Yeah. Um, wow. So that is that is lightning for me. Um, and then for the ladies, we have pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> we she did a seventeen seventeen on a twenty one k ride. How targeted is your ride? So that is targeted. That yeah. is up and down. We should have seen it. She did get a PB that we haven't seen. Um, the last time that she was on the podcast, she uh, her PB was sixteen thirty five. So she's better by two seconds. Better. Bet it. So what are you going to call it? Also, new PB is sixteen thirty three. Yeah, I should say. I think if she knew what her name was on the pod, I think I would probably get murdered. Why would you? Give out too much information. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anywho. Anyway, let's uh, mail's... Ma- mail's How close to the mail's time this week? I just realised who the fastest woman was. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Anyway. We don't shame on the podcast. <laughs> no, we don't. This podcast is meant for everyone and we are happy and we are inclusive of Except all. her and her partner. Okay. Stop it. Continuing. Shush. Anyway, what do we got? Let's go 20-minute bracket. Delicious. What do we got? First off the ranks, shish kebab with a uh, 20. Oh, that's pretty targeted. 25K ride with a 20-minute flat. Average power, 300 watts. If I did 300 watts, average, I'm thinking that's like a 15 flat. What? Oh, yeah, you and your fucking 246. <laughs> 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 My game's over here. <laughs> um, 300 watts. Well, today must have been like bloody going into a headwind or something. Mm. That's that's bulk watties. All right. Second off the ranks, we've got... <laughs> what on Paul's fra- f- flame and grill muscle is where, that where on my like, Paynham Road? Road. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was actually thinking, what kind of shops would I see on Paynham Road? <laughs> <laughs> Paul's flame and grill. Pass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, with a twenty and one forty-five k ride, no power, no data, but that's okay. Good work, Squire. Um, third off the ranks, we've got Bush Tucker. Play on his actual name. Yeah, nice. Is you know, that there's related an old to Bushwhacker? Yes. Good mm. There was an old show called The Bush Tucker Man on ABC. And was, what did, what did they do? They just did bush stuff. Just ate witchery grubs. Yeah, That's it nice. did, actually. It was delightful. Anyway, <laughs> 100, 140K ride. Oof. All right. 212 watts, 171 beats per minute. Low watts with a high heart rate. Would that you, doesn't seem right. Would you say rabbit heart? Yeah. Myself. Yeah. Who came up with the next name? <laughs> Me? <laughs> <The> <laughs> <smoke>. <laughs> Alex is having a hard time. Jesus <laughs> Christ. All right. Fourth off the ranks. The Snowtown Murderer. <laughs> this is just a barrel of laughs. Isn't yeah. It? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Snowman is just choking. <laughs> oh, wow. Was it 20 minutes? I was trying to think of something about like in pieces or something, but I had no oh, puns. No. Sorry. No. With a 20 and 3, 33K ride. So pretty targeted there. Mm. Like that, targeted anyway, uh, with 142 <laughs> BPM. Last but not least, um, a podcast favorite, uh, Rotund Wiener Lord with a 62k ride, 20 and four. No, nope. he disappeared off. He started supers yesterday, but he disappeared. I don't know where he went. Probably got dropped at the light. Mm. Well played. Mm-hmm. Uh, no power, no data. Um, Frankie. Sweet. Well, we have Mike Wazowski, who's done a 1754 on a 44 kilometer ride with 200 watts of power. Then we have the Wahooligan, who has done an 1810 on a 33 kilometer ride, 31% off her PB of 1353. That is a very fast She's had a PB. Fast time. Yeah. yeah. Then we have your Thinus, who's done a 1905 on a 51 kilometer ride. She's got a PB. <laughs> That's a good one, eh? Thank you. It's a first time on the podcast, so um, this is her fastest time. Uh, and then we have Burnt. It's too fast. Too I mean, fast. sorry, Burnt Cobloaf. Yep. But Burnt Cobloaf is a 1939 and 170 kilometer ride. Uh, Massive day yesterday. 21% off of her PB of 1611, uh, 195 watts. But her heart rate's low, 165. Low? It's, it's 165? Now. You don't, so that's not low that's for you. That's high for me. What, so what's your maximum, sorry? Oh, I like 180. What's yeah. your maximum wing? Mm, two. <laughs> really? 285, maybe. Really? What is your maximum wing? <laughs> <laughs> On the limp or... or okay, uh, Alex? Hard or flaccid? <laughs> Alex? I would your... nudge 190 in a race, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then how about you? Yeah, I'm about 190 yeah. as well, just to touch over. Yeah, wow. We're all pretty old, Frankie. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, look at you all. Anyway, uh, <laughs> then we've... 120 just sitting still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right now, I am 85, which is not great. 54. Uh, when I was peak fitness, I used to like just sit... And I could be around 55. Sweet. But obviously like, do you know, my boob cannon has become bigger. Do you know what that means? Okay. I'll tell you a story. I digress. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can you pass me a pen? One week pass is all a pen. pen. All right. So this was in year 11, right? I'm and I'm glad the old Frankie's back. <laughs> so this was in year 11. And uh, I remember my physics Sound teacher. Man's losing it. Was, <laughs> yeah, he knows a story. He knows a story. Does um, everyone else need to know <laughs> yes. yes, we do. So my year 11 teacher, she was teaching us the like three laws of thermodynamics. So, you know. Uh, yeah, you've lost me. Uh, Energy cannot be re- created or destroyed is one of them. And this, I think it's the second law. Please don't quote me. Anyway, one of them is um, energy um, can be 
transfer. Wait, what was it? What was it? That's that's factual. Energy can be transferred. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, no, with every action, there is an equal equal and opposite opposite reaction. reaction. So not thermodynamics, but just like Newton laws of physics. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yes. (laughs) (laughs) This is no temperature change. I've got a degree in chemical engineering, yes. (laughs) Okay, anyway. So she was like teaching us this. And in my head, I was like trying to understand what she was meaning. And so then she gave us this like um, example of, let's say you're in space and there's an astronaut. And if you're like going away from your ship, if you want to go back to your ship, you just grab your backpack and push it and it will push you back in the opposite direction back to your ship. Anyway, in my brain, I was like, oh, okay, so if I was to do this, then this would happen. And I put my hand up and I was like, miss, so are you saying if I was to put my pen in my boob, it would bounce off? So she was like, excuse me? And then so I went in the middle of class, I was like, like this. <laughs> And I call that the boob cannon. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most long-winded waste of my life. Shoot. <laughs> 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 I, I reckon Speechless. your teacher probably would have done the same thing. Yeah. I just <laughs> <laughs> No, but look, you know, it's like boy. That was my pen. You can keep it. <laughs> um, have you done the last name? No, no, Blossom Grain has done a 2028. <laughs> Well, I got a photo of this the other day, didn't I? Well, yeah, you did. I, so, listeners, Gloss and Grain is a name of someone on the podcast. And then at, I don't know, whatever time, Alex just sent a photo like to the group chat. Six o'clock in the morning on the way to work. Yeah, that's right. Of the uh, shop that I got the, uh, what do you call it? Inspiration from. Mm, anyway, good, good. they've got the Quam on Dirty Norton Road, wherever that Ooh, is somewhere. But Dirty Norton. Yes. So, that's the times. No hand picks, I'm sorry. That's okay. Mm. Nothing for Wang. Nothing for me. Um, as mentioned in the intro by Wang, though, next weekend is hectic for racing. Hectic, right? Is it? We have the Adelaide Masters Cycling Club with the Ron Whitehorn Memorial Handicap out of Osborne, Sunday the 25th. Is that back to the normal loop, is it? No, nope, the new no. loop. New loop. Uh, okay. We also have the Adelaide Mountain Park Club, Sunday 25th of June, Race 7, Craigburn Farm, the XCM, so that's 4 hour Yep. We have Oz Cycling as usual Tuesday 20th and Wednesday 21st in the Superdrome for general track and Madison skills. We're keeping you up, mate. Here we are. Man, all that bouldering's made me tired. <laughs> <laughs> Again on the Sunday the 25th of June, the Inside Line Mountain Bike Club have the charity Chainless Retro and Hardtail event, which we mentioned last week. And NCC are running their Round 2 Winter Crit for Sunday 25th of June. Which on a, on I am going to race. Oh, yeah, oh. yes. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm gonna. I if need to get. If you race, my... I will race. Really? No. I need. I will also race if you race. Okay. okay. I won't. I'll I'm giving back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be giving back again. All right. And, and I am actually quite scared. I I don't know where my fitness is at, at the moment. Doesn't it's quite matter. low. But I need to fun. re-download my cycling license or whatever you call it. Buy a license. Um. But I'm. I need to hold myself do it. to something. So I think I'm they're gonna using do a it. different course as well. The big, big course. Something that I haven't ridden anyway. for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Is that that one they're using? <laughs> yeah, that's not getting beaten anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, and lastly, guys, it's 11 weeks till the first round of Super Series. 11 oh, weeks. Don't say 11 that. weeks. Don't say that. Counting backwards. No. That's like Did you know? Almost less than four months. All of the Adelaide Summit podcasts are now racing for the same team. Yes. That's very cute. Yes. Is that the official announcement, is it? That is an official announcement. We would love your follows on Instagram, Keystone PA. What is, what's the yes. Instagram Keystone handle? PA on Instagram? Yeah, yeah. Keystone.pa yes. on Instagram. I did, I did debut the new team kit yesterday. Yes. Uh, delicious. Looking lovely. So we are running a Masters 1 men's team, a Masters 2 men's team, an elite men's team. An elite and a, team. An elite men's team and a Category 2 women's team this year. Do you want to be on year. the team? I wouldn't mind it. Thank you. <laughs> Very Have exciting, proved. but Keystone is basically the podcast. <laughs> we are the podcast. No. Yeah. Delightful. Anyway. That's, that's bloody great news. Anyway, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, boulders Ooh. of wang <laughs> in between. <laughs> <laughs> if you've enjoyed yourself, why don't you give us a follow through your favorite podcast app and access all our episodes through YouTube as well. Please subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Ding! Ding. <laughs> And don't forget to tell all your friends and share it with everyone. We also all have the social media <laughs> updates and info and then you know when you have the episodes are out along with other, other podcast news and information. If you want to support, support the podcast, head to our Buy Me Our Coffee page and if you donate, we're going to give you a shout out on the podcast next week. I'm channeling my inner like auctioneer. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and we'd love to uh, we would love your feedback and to know your thoughts so hit us up and let's have a chat through our Facebook and Instagram page or shoot us through an email to radladesubbit at gmail.com and with that whether you're a bike or in your car look out for each other and stay safe see you on the summit goodbye from bouldering wang <laughs> bye bye <Goodbye, Wayne. laughs> and thank you Wingardium Levy you're a hosa yes thank you, thank you mate bye <laughs>